Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right. Hey, welcome. This is an unpacking, undone. Uh, this is an undone Saturday. <laughs> I'm sorry. So excited about what's going on here. We got stuff all over the place. I got stuff to show you. I got stuff to tell you about. Uh, this is an unboxing Saturday from uh, the diecast meet that I do over Fox Valley diecast meet over in the Fox Valley area. Uh, we meet in the, the Nina, I guess. And uh, boy, what do I got here? Uh, this didn't come from the uh, the big red uh, uh, Target. That didn't come from there. But we're going to talk about it because uh, it ended up uh, being part of part of that. So anyway, um, I've got uh, some stuff to show you. Some stuff that I picked up from the guys. Uh, I don't know really where to begin. So we're going to just begin right here. All right, look at this. Yes, uh, somebody had one of these. And, you know, just a big shout out to all my uh, friends and pals and guys over at the Diecast Club. It's so great to see somebody had this one here, Fast and Furious, the first edition of the Land Rover Defender 90 in uh, premium. So very good. I think uh, uh, seven bucks I paid for that, which is totally awesome. So I uh, got that one there. Uh, got some of these here. Yeah, some root beer colored uh the land rover series three pickups i uh, got a, f a few of those yeah that was pretty awesome i was pretty excited about that um here's something that i was pretty excited about feller had this one here uh jurassic world uh legacy collection um yeah it, I, I paid a little bit more but i didn't have it and uh matter of fact i'm probably going to be doing a bonus video uh, on uh, Jurassic World here shortly, uh, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World stuff. But uh, I didn't have that, and I had to have that because I, I don't find uh, too many five-packs around. So, uh, yeah, that was cool. Uh, I went back later and picked this one up. Guy had it, and, uh, uh, you know, I offered him a lower price than what he was asking for and he's like yeah okay we'll do it but that was i waited till the end of the uh, meet to see if he could sell it uh, otherwise and uh was just hanging out uh i think i picked up a zamax did i pick this up i think so i'm not sure now uh i was talking to yeah i picked this up and these here from uh the same seller you see they use the same uh dots there i've got the uh yeah kroger exclusive i think i got three of these and i sold one there to a land rover nut yeah i can't believe it a guy came up to my little table i had and and i said ah you know i don't really have much just land rovers and he's like dude that's what i'm looking for i'm like are you kidding me so he yeah he was a land rover lover too and drove one there at the the uh meat and everything so i uh, sold him one of that i think i sold him one of these too uh, one of the other guys saved me a bunch of these, and uh, I think I sold one uh, to somebody else, that uh, Darren guy. Big shout out to Darren. Uh, yeah, so those are pretty cool. Got those going there. So uh, really kind of cool. Excited to, to get those, you know. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. But, oh, well, we're dropping stuff, that's for sure. Trying to get this piled up so I can kind of get into our uh, part two of uh what happened i got some loose stuff guy was selling a bunch of match boxes he wanted to sell the whole box for 30 bucks but i i couldn't do that so i gave him a couple of bucks for this one. Oh man i hope that was uh oh i hope that ended well yeah hope nobody come flying through it <laughs> uh i uh, picked up one of these yep loose so that was kind of neat kind of neat um Dan, uh, one of the guys, he uh, had one of these, very nice Rollomatic. Uh, he had this police Rollomatic, and he also had this Hot Wheels first edition Hot Wheels. Nice shape, minty, minty, minty. Very nice, very cool. So I, I picked those up. That was pretty awesome. 
And then I picked up these because, and you guys are gonna know why I picked these up, right? <laughs> this guy had this one here and he uh, put it all back together for me, which was really nice, but uh, don't want that. Uh, I want this. Yeah, and then uh, somebody had the, this is a five pack exclusive. Uh, it, it, I think it's supposed to have a different color top to it. I, I have to double check, but this is a five pack exclusive of this car. But you know what I'm gonna do? And somebody had the uh, the, the uh, wagon or the, um, yeah, this is, didn't this come from a, gift set didn't it have a car with it or something i don't think this sold separately on the card did it i'm not sure but you know those are all the attachments to the uh the um <clears throat> gen 2 the gen 2 so i picked those up so i can uh, get all kinds of variations and stuff like that on my cars all right so anyway um let's see let's go this route first um so I had some stuff to sell and uh, some red lines. Actually, I found some old red lines. I sold a couple of them at the uh, meet, and then I had uh, two left over. I guess I had four all together, and uh, I tried to get my buddy Josh to uh, buy them, but uh, he's like, no, nah, he, he didn't have much good, uh, good uh, luck with the big batch that he bought. So he says, I tell you what, now this is the Josh that has the uh, uh, booth over at the Fox Valley Antique. And I've, I've done, uh, showed different things about his uh, buy, uh, booth 31 over at Antique Mall. So anyway, so I went over there with the two remaining, um, <clears throat> excuse me, red lines. And uh, the feller was just so nice. He usually spends his Saturday morning there. And he had gone home for the day, but they called him, and he's like, yeah, I'll be down. So uh, he bought one, and he traded this one, because he had a booth there, and he traded this one for me, for the other one, which was totally awesome, because this is mint. This is great. This is grand. Yeah, so very, very nice. Uh, yeah, so I, I did very well on uh, my... Uh, my find of uh, um, the red line. So and so then I was shopping around. He's like, "Yeah, go ahead, shop around, and then we'll settle up." Because he had to, you know, that was for sale in his booth, so he had to write it out. So I went to this one place off into the corner, and they had a whole bunch of uh, three three pieces. Yeah, 161 booth there <laughs> for two dollars. So I got these two. And ba bam, this one here. Yeah, not too bad. Oh, what is on there? Oh, I didn't see that. I think I, I hope that's biodegradable. I'm not sure. Is that a spider that was in there? Oh man, I tell you, <laughs> oh, there's a surprise. Oh man, we might have to wash that one. All right, so then uh, we had another one here and uh. So I got this one, so we got this green jiggy here, and let's get out the Land Rover here, huh? Yeah, this is nice. I'm gonna put the green jiggy back in there. I don't know what the heck that is, but there's a concept Jeep. So this will go back to selling somewhere else. But bam, look at that, the uh, Amazon Sanctuary. Very, very nice little chipped up but with those sharp corners what are you gonna expect you know but uh very nice uh yeah the wheels really nice so awesome to get that one a, a 110 from back in the day and uh oh this was an extra i just had to get it i don't know as you guys know i kind of uh collect well i do collect this um casting i'm trying to put stuff back in there as I go, because you know, you got to do that. Maybe, maybe not. We don't have to do that. Oh, there it goes. All right, anyway, off it goes. Uh, I got this one here. Yes, I, uh, the Desert Thunder V16. I collect that because they are support vehicles for the Dakar Rally. And I just love it, love it, love it. I don't know if I have this one. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't because this is kind of an exclusive one. 
If I do, it's probably not in this good a shape. So anyway, that's an extra there. All right, so I had a great time at the uh, Fox Valley uh, Antique Mall. And so then I went over to the Target because we don't have Targets uh, by me. So I had to go over there. And oh my, usually I tell you, Targets don't do me so well. I very rarely find stuff, but lately uh, I've had to change my tune. <laughs> So, all right, let's get unpacked here. Oh, yeah, check it out. They had the five packs here of this, um, what is it? City Adventure 3. And I don't understand the City Adventure because it, this has to do with the jungle and everything <laughs> and everything. But, all right, whatever. So, uh, I got this one here. And, uh, you know, um, here, I got the... Uh, I had this one before. I bought one before, and someone mentioned something about uh, variation. I'm like, what? There's a variation? Well, of course there would be. What would the variation be? Can you see it? It's pretty plain as day now that you think about it. So this is the first one I bought, and this has got the uh, original style uh, roof rack on it, and this one's got the MBX. Sorry, my lighting is kind of getting in the way. This has got the MBX style. So I got that one there. I gotta put this other one over here. And then uh, they had another one, and that was the original. So I got one each there. Oh, look at this, I got another one. And that's the uh, MBX remake. Oh, and check this out. Yeah, I got this bugger too, because I didn't have this one. So this is uh, Jurassic World Legacy Collection. It got another little different dinosaur in it. It's got the camper. I like that. And the gyro spear. So the ground travelers. So pretty cool. So we'll have to do some more. Uh, yeah, I'll have to do an extra uh, little uh, Jurassic Park one. All right, check this out. They had this one. Now they had the, uh, the two pack uh, the tan ones. <clears throat> if you saw that video last weekend or whatnot. The monster trucks with the two, the, the Land Rover Defender 90, and the uh, Unimog. I, I left that because I already had spent my budget. But they had this old green one, the first one edition. So I had to pick that one up. So that was cool. And then I can't believe that I found this. Totally unexpected. This is, um, you ready? But bam check it out. Yes! Now this is a King's King Smart. Um and uh yeah, just 160 uh 160 36 scale Land Rover Defender 90. Now I bought some of these off eBay when they first came out. I think they were King Smart. I'll have to check. I think I got a white and a red one or something like that. Black and a white one, that's what it was. And this was at uh, Target and in a beautiful red. I'm like, are you kidding me? You have this? So this is a, a pull behind and uh, opening doors, uh, driver's and passenger's door. The back doesn't open, but it's pretty cool. We'll probably have to do a recap on what all of those different flavors I've got. All right, so there you go, an unpacking Saturday from the Diecast Meat. All right, I got to get out of here. Thank you very much. This is your friend Daniel. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover Day.